again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 18th of February, 2019. Just took a look at an interesting article posted on February the 20th, 2018, put up by Business Insider. Ranked the greatest U.S. presidents according to political scientists. You see a photograph of these dirtbags. Starts off with uh, George Herbert Walker Bush. And you see that half-baked Barack Hussein Obama. And you see that guy that looks like somebody hit him in the side of the head with a baseball bat. George W. And then you see Billy Bob Clinton. And then you see Carter. Nearly 200 political scientists ranked the presidents by order of greatness in a survey. And President Donald Trump came in last. President Abraham Lincoln was first. Members of the American Political Science Association's Presidents and Executive Politics section completed this survey online between December 2017 and January 2018. Presidential ranking tend to be subjective and divisive, but they also provide valuable insight into how historic views of presidents evolve over time. In a recent survey, nearly 200 political science scholars ranked U.S. presidents on a scale of 0 to 100, from failure 0 to average 50 to great 100. The total were then averaged for each president and ranked from highest to lowest. Now here's the similarities between this kind of crap and these polls that we hear about all the time. A majority of the 170 respondents, roughly 57% identified as whacked out Democrats. Just 13% were Republicans, while 27% they were independents, and three selected other. I wonder what other could mean. I guess communists. The skewed sampling, plus the fact that President Donald Trump was just starting his second year in office, made it difficult to accurately compare him to previous presidents. Hmm. But even among Republicans, Trump was ranked quite unfavorably. Respondents who identified as Republicans or conservatives ranked Trump 40th out of 44 presidents. Self-described Democrats and liberals both ranked him last. And then you'll see a list of the greatest presidents ranked according to current and recent members of the American Political Science Association, what that should have been titled the American Left Wing Political Science Association. You know who came in eighth? Huh? Well, eighth was that crack smoking Islamic extremist Muslim fudge packing homosexual bastard spy communist Arab Barack Hussein Obama. I wonder what they're going to do when they have to reshuffle all of these, when they find out the real truth. We're already finding out a whole lot of truth about Herbert Walker Bush, and we're finding out truth about George W. Bush, and we are finding out a whole lot of truth about the usurper, Barack Hussein Obama. You think the order is going to change once the truth really surfaces and the American people wake up and recognize how devious and how corrupt and how evil many of these presidents actually were, like Roosevelt, who dragged us into the Second World War, huh? like H. W. Bush, huh? come on folks, many of you are waking up. But you have the same problem that I have. There's no one to go to. History will tell the truth. But then again, we thought that on a JFK assassination. That happened in 1963. We still don't know the truth. We don't know the truth about 9-11. We don't know the truth about Pearl Harbor. The Gulf of Tonkin, LBJ. You think we'll ever learn the truth? Probably not in my lifetime. Hopefully, 
in my grandchildren's lifetime. But the way this country is going, they may not have much of a future. That's sort of what I think. Take a look at the list and let me know what you think. The link will be attached. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. You don't want to send a copy to Trump. He can't handle being last, can he?